Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is a late night video. It is like midnight, and I was researching bolos for my Facebook group, and I came across a seller who starts all of their auctions at one cent. So they've got lots of bolos, lots of great um, information. I'm going to share it with you guys right now. I'm also going to link their um, store down in the description because I really think there's potential for the possibility to snag a deal and I'll show you what I'm talking about at the end um, but first let's learn about some bolo items and if you guys are interested in this category I do have this video right here vintage panties get educated major eBay bolo if you know what to look for okay you guys there are certain panties that can go for big money, but you have to know what to look for and you have to know how to um, photograph the item. So in that video, I share information that I learned to help you guys know what to look for when you're searching for vintage panties. Okay, the next video that I did, and then we're gonna get into these bolos, hang tight is big money bolos people shy away from and this includes like socks and underwear and lingerie and you guys will be shocked it is an older video but most of it is still very relevant so definitely check out that video as well um just shocking and i know some people like shy away from those things because they're too embarrassed to like take them to the checkout or buy them at a garage sale um, but they do sell. So, um, just think about if you had your favorite pair of socks and now they're discontinued and you want those socks, where are you going to look? You're going to look on eBay. All right, you guys, let's get started with the first item. They started as a penny at a penny and let's see where it's at. These are active auctions at the time of this video. By the time I share this, they will probably well, I don't know when I'm going to post this. They might be ended. They might not. So again, the link will be in the description. All right. So the first item, sorry, hang tight here. Okay. I wanted to make sure my screen was up. All right. So this is the item that I found when I was um, searching for a bolo for my Facebook group. And you will see this one in my Facebook group. If you're there, if you're not there, definitely go down to the description and join my Facebook group. Now, this brand is not a brand I've ever heard of. It's Spengler Mod or Mode. I don't know what that is. Mode, I think. <laughs> but they don't even show the tag. They don't even put the brand in the title because what's selling this are the colors, the pattern, and probably this dolman style sleeve. So just a super cool vintage zigzag print uh, sweater. Now remember that vintage items do run small, so always put um, measurements in the description to help you um, not get a return if you're going to sell vintage items. So currently this has one day left in 22 hours. It has 42 bids and it's at $102.50. All right, let's look at another item. So, oops, thought I had that zoomed in makes it easier for you guys to see if I already have them zoomed in. Okay, so this one is a hand-knit vintage mohair cottage England fuzzy landscape sweater. So again, this person does a lot of vintage items. They have a lot of keywords. So you could even go to their store and just study their listings. Again, no title um, or no brand was in the title. It looks like, is that Selena Knits, Knitwear? Hmm. So what's selling this is the print, maybe that it's mohair. I'm not sure. I don't do a whole lot of vintage clothing. I thought you guys would enjoy this. Um, that mannequin needs some pants. All right. The next item, another brand I've never heard of. I don't know if this one is vintage or not. Let's see. Made in Japan. Doesn't look to be a vintage tag, but I don't know. Uh, pleats, please, for Izzy 
my my yak my yak black pencil dress made in japan so amazing dress has two days left it's at 97 dollars with 28 bids next item is this wolford thong black stretch turtleneck bodysuit um, again i've never heard of the brand wolford uh, this one is actually new with tags but maybe bodysuits are trending right now. I have no idea. So if you are a clothing reseller, please let me know in the comments, are bodysuits trending? And that one's currently at $76 with 21 hours to go. The next item we all know about Gunny Sacks, definitely a bolo. I'm actually shocked that this is not um, higher, but it still has seven days left. So if you don't know the tag, this is what it looks like. And this dress is amazing. I'm guessing it's going to go pretty high. Uh, again, currently at $61 with seven days left. The next item are these satin stretch. Um, these are actually maiden form, okay? And they're high cut and shiny. So shiny would be a good keyword. Satin is what sells, you guys. People will pay up for satin panties. Um, this one is currently at $62 with 57 bids and it has 21 hours left. So if you see this material, consider picking it up. Definitely look up comps. Um, I will tell you that vintage underwear cannot be sold um, in like the new panties section. It has to be under specialty, vintage, women's, vintage clothing, lingerie, panties. So there are a market for these panties because they are retired. You can no longer get them. Um, I personally prefer to sell things new with tags, but this is very, very common. And these items just go for a ton of money. This tag looks new to me. So this could be a situation where maybe it was never used or washed it was just somebody who bought it took the tags off threw it in their drawer and never um never wore them because they look brand new usually um on on the tag area you can usually tell if something's been washed so anyway this is currently at 57 dollars, and the buyer pays shipping 21 hours to go now victoria's secret second skin satin is a bolo it has been a bolo since gosh since I can remember, um, it's just a bolo. People love the second skin satin line. I'm surprised that Victoria's Secret doesn't bring it back because it is um, retired, vintage, hard to find, and goes for big money almost always on eBay. Go ahead and do a search on Victoria's Secret second skin satin. Search solds high to low and check it out. You'll be amazed. The next, okay, so here we are in their store. So you can see they start everything at one cent. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you some solds, some bolo items to give you guys more information on what to look for. But all of these items are currently still at one cent. So um, the shipping is a little bit high. Um, but if you can get it for one cent... There still be maybe some money for you to make if you put it on a buy it now. But again, um, I feel like this person has kind of built up their store so that they have regular customers that know that they start their items at one cent. And more than likely, a lot of these items are going to get a bid. So we'll talk more about that at the end. All right. So here is an item that they sold. It is a Van Vanity Fair vintage mushroom granny silky nylon pillow tab panties okay you guys if you go and watch my video i'm going to talk to you about pillow tab and how to get great photos or i don't take the great photos but i look at other listings that show you guys great photos so definitely check out that video these sold for 550 dollars, you guys with 20 bits and it doesn't surprise me vanity fair if you can find these mushroom granny with the pillow tab, they are almost always big money. So um, definitely be on the lookout. Now here's another one, Victoria's Secret. Again, it's a satin stretch. 
I don't know if these are the second skin satin, but um, again, the tag looks to be almost brand new. Um, doesn't appear to ever be worn. I don't know where they got a mannequin that wears underwear like that. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, $300 with 41 bids on those. And I'm going to show you more than just underwear, you guys. So here's that brand again. It's Izzy Mayaki. I don't know. Showstopper jacket. And that jacket is amazing. It's a uh, pleated and it's made in Japan again. And it sells, they sold it for $285. I'd really like to know what this brand retails for, but there you go. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? And I really think they did a good job of showing um, the pleating because sometimes that's really hard to capture with um, a dark um, navy or a black top or jacket. You just, it's hard to see the detail. So I think they did a good job. The next item is this Gunny Sacks boho skirt. I didn't even know that Gunny Sacks made skirts. So apparently those are also a bolo item. This is um, it sold for $255 uh, plus shipping. The next item is this Rakshia, Raksha, R-A-K-S-H-A, of Hindimp. Oh my goodness. It's from London. Um, it's a maxi dress. <laughs> and there is the tag. It looks like it was sold at uh, Neiman Marcus. I'm going to say... Maybe that's vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. They didn't put vintage in the title. They basically just added the information from the tag. And this sold for $248. Again, check out how they're putting multiple views in one photo. That's probably so they can show you more angles of the item when eBay only gives us 12 photos. So they're, you know, using up those. But they didn't even use all the photos. I don't know. That's what my first thought was, is they didn't have enough room to get all 12 photos, but they didn't use all the photos. But this is a great way to show um, different views. And there's apps that do that. I forget what they're called, but I have a couple on my phone. The next item is this 70s dress. It says Indian vintage gauze cotton hippie ionic wedding boho poet. See what I mean? The keywords are amazing. So um, just a cool vintage dress. And it went for $227.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Gucci authentic mushroom floral hand rolled silk scarf. Okay, so hand rolled, guys. If you ever find scarves that are hand rolled, you definitely want to um, look them up. You can see right here, this is what it means for an item to be hand rolled. Um, so it's, I believe it's been hand stitched. You know what I mean? So it's not by a machine. And this brings the value of the item up. Now this is Gucci. That's helping this also. Um, this one sold for $224.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Christian Dior bodysuit. It is vintage. And again, do you see how they're holding it up to the window? So the light shows through and you can actually see the pattern. That is definitely something that you should do. Um, there's the tags. So this seller really knows how to present their items. $182.50 on that one and the buyer paid shipping. This one is Olga. It's another brand. Um, some of the vintage items do well. Some of them are bread and butter. So um, not all of them go for $169.50. You definitely have to find um, the right stuff. Now, this one is a size 42. So I'm guessing that's a plus size item, which probably maybe made this go for more. Not really sure. Second skin satin, guys. But this one is not um, Victoria's Secret. It is a Vanity Fair. So it's satin. Do you guys see the trend here? These satin panties just are big money. $162.50 on that one. The next item, this one really surprised me. Um, it's vintage Victoria's Secret liquid satin, or yeah, liquid satin 
string thong bikini. Okay, I didn't see the satin. So I'm less surprised now that I see that it's satin. But even the um, V strings or the thongs, again, the tag looks brand new. $147.50 on this. Okay, so I have went into their feedback and I put in the word liquid. And you're going to see right here, Vintage Victoria's Secret Liquid Satin String Thong, $147.50. So this buyer paid for this item, received it, and left positive feedback. Now, I will tell you guys that with vintage um, clothing, specifically panties and stuff like that, a lot of times they will not leave feedback um, just for privacy. Um, so let's keep going here. Here's another Victoria's Secret Satin Stretch. This is a different style, and this one sold for $122.50. Again, the tag looks brand new. I want to know where this seller gets all of this Victoria's Secret because, wow, lots of money. Here's a Grateful Dead t-shirt, kind of out of this seller's um, norm of things they pick up, but definitely a bolo, sold for $122.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Lady Duff, uh, another brand I've never heard of, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I do wish that they would have put a picture of the tag, which they did in most of their photos. I'm not sure why they didn't in this one, but this one sold for $100.01. Another Victoria's Secret um, Second Skin Satin, or actually this one is called Satin Stretch. So maybe there are different styles. That one has a little fraying on the tag, but still looks to be in decent condition. $105.50 on that one. The next item is another one, and this is a bikini panty, you guys. So it's got the full back, but it's got the strings on the side. It's a string bikini. Again, tag looks great. Sold for $93 plus shipping. This one is beautiful. It's from the 60s, and it's amazing. Vintage pastel lingerie nightgown. Dress by um, Radcliffe, and that is just really, really pretty. You can see the tag there is really old. It's got that pretty belt, and it looks to be in excellent condition. I'm actually surprised this didn't go for more. It sold for $76.51. Now, had the seller done a buy it now or best offer and priced this high, they may have gotten more for this. Maybe not. I'm not an expert in vintage clothing. I just think it's really cool. Um, so there are some downfalls to doing one set auctions, but you get a lot of interest. The next one is this vintage panty girdle shaper. It's a 4X and it sold for $67. Now, um, people collect this stuff and I guess maybe somebody wants to wear it. I don't know. Um, doesn't look very comfortable. $67 on that one plus shipping. Okay, you guys, so now I am in their store and I am under their sold listings and I'm going to show you everything that sold for one cent plus shipping. And do I recommend being a seller that starts auctions at one cent? No, there's no way in the world I would do it. I know that um, if you start it and you expect to, um, in the beginning, kind of get hit because you, you don't have that brand yet. But if you market yourself as I do one cent auctions, I'm sure that you will get a big following and it could pay off. But I'm going to show you right here a lot of items that went for one cent. So I don't know. Um, that seems like a lot of work to list something for one cent and have it sell for one cent. Um, but you saw they have a lot of items that sell for big money. And I didn't show you all of them. I just picked, um, I don't know what, 15 or 20. All right. So here, this scarf went for one cent. These are the items that sold for, I, I've got it from uh, lowest to highest. So you can see where these are at. Now, the shipping is kind of high. I'm wondering if they just do a flat rate of $8.75 and then they ship it first class. 
So that way they're not taking a total loss. I'm betting that's what they do, but I'd have to go in and look. Oh my goodness, they even offer free returns. Wow. So if somebody buys this for one cent, they ship it to them and they're like, oh, I don't really like it, or it doesn't fit right. They get to return it and the seller is going to pay the return shipping. Wow. And on undergarments, wow, that's amazing. I, I don't know. I, I would not do that. That's personally me. Um, but obviously this seller has um, a plan and it, it seems to work sometimes. And right here, I don't know, it's not working great in other cases. So they may be in the process of still building their brand, which is great for you guys. Um, if you want to watch their store, I'm not a big vintage seller for clothing. I, I'm trying to get out of clothing. So this really isn't something that I'm going to watch. But uh, if you do your homework and search the items and you can snag them for like, look at this dress. It went for a dollar. Snag them cheap. It might be a way to get some inventory. So all of these items. Wow. I mean, that's a Ralph Lauren silk scarf. I could see, you know, that going, it's hand rolled. I mean, you could definitely list that kind of high, especially like on Poshmark. I feel like some of these uh, fancier items do better on uh, Poshmark. So again, I will link in the description this eBay seller's uh, store, and you guys can go check it out. And if you want to look at their solds, you can definitely do that. Um, I did not show everything. Here's another hand rolled. So I don't know. I mean, it works for some people and others. It doesn't. So... I, I've seen other sellers do this. I, in fact, I have a playlist on my channel and it is called Sellers That Start Their Auctions Low. Um, it's on my Bola Buddies main channel. That's where I'm going to put this video. But if you go to the playlist, it says Sellers That Start Their Auctions Low. And you can go in. Some of them start them at 99 cents. Um, I think there's one where they start their auctions at $9.99. So Lots of good people to follow over there. I believe I have them all linked in the description. If not, I should show their store at some point in the video and you guys can look them up. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more like this. And um, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. <laughs> I am ready for bed. So I am going to end this video. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great night.